Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Okay, first before I get into the video, I just want to talk about my hair. It looks horrible right now. I've had my friends convince me to put like temporary blue dye in it and now it kind of just looks teal but I'm getting it fixed and it's going back to blonde soon um and my makeup I went for a natural look and I ended up with this so oops <laughs> um I hope you like it uh comment down below if you like the look um but on a serious note I am gonna get into today's video um the topic of today's video is talking about all my diagnoses and that word is so weird to say <laughs> diagnoses like diagnosis diagnoses oh fuck I don't even know but like every diagnosis that I've ever received um to make it easy on just my brain I'm just gonna do it in like chronological order the first time that I ever went to a psychologist or a psychiatrist was when I was 15 I believe and I'm 19 now uh and the first thing I was ever diagnosed with was social anxiety and that is something that i knew i had like i i got so anxious in crowds i had really bad panic attacks um i just knew that people made me anxious and i had searched it up a few times before i ever went and i i just figured i had it like it just like matched me so well the description of it and then when I was 15 I was officially diagnosed with it and it was kind of a relief in a way that I knew that I wasn't just like making this up in my head and there was a reason why I felt that way the next thing I was diagnosed with was depression and that was by my psychiatrist and I actually still see the same psychiatrist even though I'm not in pediatrics anymore just because it does take a long time to find a psychiatrist right now um, in adult psychiatry so she has been amazing and she said she'll see me just until the point that I actually get accepted into an adult psychiatrist so like I'm so grateful for that but yeah she diagnosed me with depression and multiple eating disorders kind of at the same time the next diagnosis was not just one I guess it was like multiple diagnoses she also agreed that I had social anxiety and generalized anxiety and that was i that was a mouthful like that hearing all of that in one day like after i had seen her twice and she was so sure about all these things was just crazy and some people think that being diagnosed with something is like hard and it puts you in this box that you feel like maybe you can't get out of because you've had this label put on you and it's never going to go away but for me it was just it was such a relief like because I knew what was wrong and that there was a way to help and something that I had struggled with for so long was actually diagnosed and the process of me getting help could actually start. I received all those diagnoses when I was 17. I took quite a long break from seeing my psychologist just because I when I first started going to therapy I absolutely hated it and I didn't want to go and although my psychologist was absolutely amazing she was such a sweet lady um we just didn't mesh well and it just made me not as comfortable talking about hard things in life so i have now seen i believe four different therapists slash psychologists and the one that i'm currently seeing now is amazing and she's the best fit that i've ever had so i'm really proud of that but anyway, back to the story. Sorry, I ramble a lot. But um, yeah, so I took a break and then finally I went back and I started seeing a psychologist and a psychiatrist again and I received those diagnoses. Um, the one that was a little bit shocking to me was ADHD because I had never even suspected that I had that. I guess it's because like the general belief for ADHD is like, a little kid like bouncing off the walls can't concentrate blah 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 but in reality like ADHD in women and girls is so much different and when she explained to me what kind of happens within girls when they have ADHD I was like that's me <laughs> like it's crazy like some of the things are like being an overachiever when you're young and then when it comes time for things to get harder for you when you're maybe not as just naturally talented at things 
you get really stressed out you get really unorganized it's hard to concentrate um just so many different things that matched up with me so well so learning that i had that and that there was a way to start fixing it was so helpful especially because i've i haven't struggled in school grade wise but i've very much struggled to concentrate to attend to keep myself organized to not stress out and have panic attacks um so that was very informative and very nice to hear because it was something that could get fixed however treating adhd and anxiety is very difficult because with one medication it could make the other one more severe and with the other one it can make the other one more severe so it was pretty difficult to start that process basically when i was diagnosed i went on anti-anxiety medication because she wanted my psychiatrist wanted to get that under control before we dealt with the adhd and then my adhd was really severe so we tried to combat both at once and I went on anti-anxiety medication, antidepressants, um, uh, ADHD medication, as well as like some sleeping stuff because um, later on I was diagnosed with insomnia, which was not shocking to me whatsoever. I have the hardest time sleeping and I really always have, but that was also nice to be able to treat that. And that's probably the issue that's been the most like solved out of all my diagnoses. Um, but I, I do still have struggles with sleep and stuff, but it's not nearly as bad as it used to be. So basically I was diagnosed with all of these things when I was 15 to 17. And that was kind of it for a long time. I was on like trials for different medications. You know, I went on this, off that. Kind of different things trying to find what works for me and the biggest issue was that my depressive episodes were not being solved whatsoever and that was what affected me the most as well as my anxiety and those two things were just not working like i couldn't find a single medication that was actually helping it and then and then um in may of 2020 this is kind of jumping to a really dark side and I'm just going to put a trigger warning at the beginning of the video anyway, but trigger warning now. In May 2020, I tried to commit suicide and it wasn't the first time, but it was the first time that anybody else knew about it. And I went to the hospital for about a week, I believe. Um, and I was in inpatient treatment and after that i was diagnosed with bipolar disorder which was again something that i didn't even consider to be a thing but then when i looked back on my life and my emotions and everything it was just such a roller coaster that it made sense and i was able to get put on some new antipsychotic medication which is to treat my bipolar disorder my depression and my anxiety and I'm finally at a place where my medications have been working pretty well. Another really cool thing, which I had no idea would happen, um, I was put on a different ADHD medication and it actually helped combat my disordered eating thoughts. And it's, it's awesome because that's something I struggle with a lot and I know I have a whole video about eating disorders, but that was just honestly so helpful. And it has been just to this day like it is a lot harder to eat while on these medications just because a lot of them suppress my appetite um they can make me nauseated and you know i'm on about i believe i'm on like 10 medication 10 different medications i take like 10 pills in the morning and then like maybe like 14 at night like it's it's a lot so it's kind of hard for me to always like you know it's kind of hard for me to feel good when there's all these things rushing through my body and eventually I'd love to be able to like get off some medications and be able to handle it on my own but right now that's not the case and I know I couldn't do that right now but yeah I guess I just wanted to make this video because I think there's a lot of misconceptions about being diagnosed with things and a lot of people will think you're crazy if you're diagnosed with any of the things like you know I mentioned before like I am bipolar and some people might think that I belong in a psych ward or something like that and it's just not the case because people live with mental illness every single day 
and you know you can get by or you can thrive or sometimes you struggle but it doesn't mean you're bad it doesn't mean you're crazy it just means some things are harder for you to do than others I find extreme comfort in my diagnoses and that's not something that everyone feels but I definitely do I feel like it's it's something that I know is wrong with me and there's a way to help it and that is why I find so much comfort in it something that I didn't mention before just because I was talking about diagnoses of like my mental illness was something with physical and that is I was diagnosed about seven years ago with um, chronic pain issues which is chronic headaches and migraines and to this day nobody can find out why and I live with a headache 24 hours a day and I get migraines upwards of one time a week and sometimes it gets really bad and sometimes I have migraines for days and days on end and nobody can find out what's wrong so having these diagnoses that actually tell me what's the issue in my brain and knowing how to fix it is so comforting to me when I have other issues that maybe aren't the same and aren't fixable. <laughs> so that's a little bit about me. Um, I hope that you guys find this video a little bit informative. It's just talking about my own personal experience and I'll probably do some more videos that are a little bit more informative towards the general population and not so much just myself but yeah I just wanted everyone to know that if you're diagnosed with something um don't be ashamed of it it's something that can be helped and you can seek out help without feeling crazy and that's something that I haven't always known but I do now and I'm pretty happy with that so yeah I will see you in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.